Here we have an OE Ford uh, 1410 series shaft for Super Duty. I believe it's an F-250 for Rob Sear. It's for one of his customers and uh, they're definitely, they're in need. It's one of the plow trucks of this guy's fleet, it, Rob's customer. And um, they're in a bad way. U-joint came apart during the last storm. Uh, you could tell it had had previously some DIY U-joint changes. And, you know, that, unfortunately that kind of adds up sometimes the rough handling that's involved. And it just sends them down the wrong road. And it, so I, I've straightened it all out. It, the well joke down here was uh, completely lost its fit. The, the margins for the... Uh, snap rings or the lands for the snap rings were very thin from maybe they've been ground on or something uh, the flange yoke that uh, bolts to the rear axle was damaged so new flange yoke I changed that well joke I eliminated the balancer ring you can see the inner hub still there uh, those balancer rings are notoriously bad that's the rust a big shard of rust that was this whole diameter where my thumb is fell out and these were put on as a vibration dampener, like a harmonic balancer, but they don't they don't age well, especially in New England and especially in Maine, I guess. But uh, they become a vibration producer, and the rubber element in between gets rotten, and they they wobble around. So it, if you look back in my videos, you'll see many of these have been eliminated. But that's what's hiding inside of there. That's one of them literally cut in half. Um, so. Well joke, flange yoke, a pair of 1410 snap tights, sandblasted. This did have a layer of probably POR 15 slathered on it. Um, not my favorite thing. I'll be very honest about that. Painting over rust, regardless of what they say, is like putting vinyl siding on a rotten house. It does not make things better. It just hides it. Uh, so sandblasted down to bare metal, as you can see. Grease fitting in the slip yoke. The stub and slip were in good shape. Rescued the flange that goes onto the transmission. So, and the same thing I always say about these. I do a lot of these. And what I tell people, it isn't brand new from end to end, but I made it think it is. And uh, you don't want to throw this whole thing away in today's world if you can avoid it because it gets spendy fixing you know just throwing it arbitrarily throwing it away when you don't have to uh, it, it gets costly so this is a this is as good a fix it's going to run just as good and it's going to run a long time so and i'm going to next stop is paint but we're going to crank her up here that's that's about 2800 rpm zero at the transfer case that's bobbing a little like a half and sure at the rear axle. There is no energy there at all. So we're gonna call this a home run for Rob's customer and get it painted immediately so they can get it back this afternoon.